There's something in my eye. I think it's stop. I think it's an eyelash. Anyway, not the average ginger here. Um, today, or Cheyenne, ginger, shy, chica, whatever. Once again, I don't really care when she got me. Um, today we're gonna make croque madames, uh, which is just a really fancy ham and egg grilled cheese sandwich. So yeah, so let's get started. So with the uh, croque madames, uh, the ingredients for the recipe off of Pinterest that will be posted below um, is deli ham, chives, garlic, eggs, Dijon mustard, flour, salt, pepper, French bread, butter, gruyere, cheese, um, milk, provolone, and provolone cheese. Um, but we don't have some of those items, so I will be substituting, but I will let you know what those items are. So I just went ahead, um, instead of French bread, we are actually using sourdough bread um, this time. So. I have gone ahead and just buttered both sides of the bread and I am now toasting them so that way it's crispy. We're going to flip these one more time and then I'm going to go ahead and put the ham and the cheese on six of these guys. So I have two tablespoons of butter melting in my skillet and once that is all melted I'm going to add garlic to it and cook that for about 30 seconds until it's fragrant. Now that the garlic has cooked for a little bit in the butter, I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of flour and make the <laughs> roux. <laughs> slowly just going to add a cup and a half of milk and whisk that until uh, and keep whisking it continuously until it is smooth and yeah smooth Add some salt to taste. Pepper to taste. And we're gonna let that simmer for a second. Alright, once that has thickened up a little bit, we're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, <laughs> and a cup of Swiss instead of the Gruyere. and remove it from heat. 
Now that we have our cheese sauce ready and our sandwiches pre-cooked and ready to go, we are going to turn on our oven to broil. <laughs> We're going to turn on our oven to broil. So now that we have our sauce cooked and our uh, ham and provolone cheeses assembled, I'm going to take the sauce and drizzle it over the grilled cheese sandwiches. Grilled ham and cheese sandwiches. And our oven is preheated to boil. Broil. My bad. Broil. Like so. And now I'm just going to make sure that's spread over the entire top of the grilled cheese. We're going to leave the leftovers for the now final we're going to take our delicious sandwiches here <clears throat> and put them in the oven. <sighs> That's hot. We'll broil those until they are golden and bubbly for about five minutes. Uh, so we're going to set a timer for five While minutes. those uh, sandwiches are broiling, um, I'm going to have my amazing boyfriend go ahead and fry some, fry six eggs for us. Um, so that way we can put them on top of our sandwiches. So he's going to go ahead and fry those eggs real quick and we'll be right back. The timer for the sandwiches are done so I'm going to take those out of the oven and Nick is finishing up on the fried eggs right now. Watch your butt. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Crispy sandwiches. <laughs> That's okay. Yep, we'll take that off with a butter knife and then we're gonna put the eggs on top of it and put more sauce on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> you just look at it. Just, just look at it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man. All right, so now that we have the burnt off of our sandwiches and the eggs are done, I'm gonna go ahead and put two on a plate, oh, no. there we go, and I'm going to add just a little bit more sauce to each of the sandwiches, and then I'm going to put an egg on top, oh no, don't slide off, and that is finished results. <laughs> oh no. Egg don't slide off. <laughs> the egg. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. There. Almost. <laughs> this is why you don't splat your eggs when you flip them over. Since my egg is broken, I'm going to go ahead and um, 
chow down here soon. Um, so um, if you want to make these croque madames, um, the recipe will be below. Uh, but don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, so that way you can uh, get more videos for food, I guess. And uh, if you want to know how to do this makeup with the James Charles palette, comment below and I will definitely try and make a video.